Wagwa people, we are back, Harrogate Town Season 5, and I do believe this is Episode 8. So we are still, uh, what, 8 points clear over Brentford, surprisingly, but Tottenham, Man City and Man United are closing in the gap. Our form's been indifferent, we're out of Europe, but can we keep things going again? So we've got league games in this episode, uh, we've also got, obviously got the transfer window, and we've also got the FA Cup too. So we're starting off with Norwich, who are well, struggling at the bottom of the table, relegation battle for them. Blake with the goal kick. 20 minutes in. There's been literally absolutely dookie in this game so far. And that's the thing I think with um, Superstar on Pez level really. You get some games where you can batter teams. Some games where the lower league teams seem to be playing like prime Barcelona. But um, I think it's the best level for us with the 70 rated players. I think if we went back down to top player we'd end up winning easily every game. Legendary I think would end up getting absolutely relegated every week. Oh my goodness. Badge him off the ball. Get that, get that good save by Blake. Come on now, we need to get into this game. I'm thinking about a possible change of formation as well. Who knows? Going into the future, maybe next season. Ah, Martina from distance! Wide. No, he's got to throw in that. Again, it's just been a scrappy game. We expected this really against bottom of the table. Sergeant, it's been moved. Josh Sargent's in! It's getting Blake with the save, the Jamaican. That's a nice ball outside to Chapman. Cuts back in. Intercepted well by Delos. Played ball forward. This is nice. Newerton. Come on, turn and go. has got to be a little bit quicker than that. Sane again. <laughs> the turning circle's ridiculous. Nice little ball outside, though, for Newerton. Can he get there first? He can't. We've got a free kick on the edge, though. Just as well. Sane got caught. Let him know, Diego Simeone. Let him know. Gomez can't be pissing about like that. All right, Albertino. This is his kind of range. Can El Capitano keep adding to his goals from set pieces this season? Albertino, it's up and over the wall. Ah, it's too central for the keeper, though. Easy save in the end. Again, we're not really got any. I mean, look at this. It's just scrappy at the moment. Clear cut chances. Nice. San is in there. It's flicked on. Again, no one there. This game, you can already tell from here, it's heading towards a dull nil nil. Norwich have tested us a couple of times. We've had a couple of scrappy chances. Well read there by the defender. But nothing amazing. This is nice. What can we do now? He's in. He's in. Layman. Nice little ball over the top. Surely he's in now. Dean Nielsen. Oh, just wide for the Brazilian. I thought that was going to be it. Right, literally, we've got probably one more chance just to get this sneaky goal and win these three points. I don't mind. We need some sneaky results just to make sure we stay top of the league. Here's Bates inside to Mulan. Assume Bubaka. Spin moves. Bubaka. Referee Bubaka. Damn ankles. He says no free, no free kick. Oh my goodness. Bubaka got shackled on the edge of the area. The referee said he's taking his shot. And it's nil nil. Yeah. A great way to start the episode. At least we've got some fun things with transfers and the FA Cup, but it's a dab, dab draw, really, against bottom of the league. All right, so we are ranked 98th in the world now, or Europe, or I don't even know how it covers, really. It might cover the world, to be fair, on this one. So we've come down from 400 and something all the way down to 98 in four and a half seasons, or five and a half seasons. So that means at 98 rated, we can get one 70 rated youth academy player and one 68. So like I said, I'm really desperate to get into that 11 to 25 that we can get a no max and get like an 80 rated youth academy player. And that way our whole team ratings go up and everything. It's brilliant. But at the moment, 70 and 68. So I'm looking what come through the youth academy. Raphael Sobis came through, which is nice. 16 year old, lots of uh, talent in there. So I'm thinking of taking Raphael Sobis on as my 70 rated one. And for the 68, there wasn't much. So I'm taking this right back called Kumbarov, which again, I'll loan out, maybe sell in a couple of years' time. But other than that, it was kind of dross in the thing. So our transfers, obviously, we get three each episode, or three each season. Um, we get one, what's the second and third, which is 72. The fifth and the sixth rated player, which is 71. And the ninth and tenth rated player, which is 70. So three signings, sorry, each window. One at 72, one at 71, and one at 70. So... Done a bit of scouting, put the scouts on early doors, and they found me this goalkeeper. So if I find him, it's under uh, 25 and above, scouts 21 and above. So I found this goalkeeper. Uh, I think, in the moment, I'm liking Blake, but this guy could be a good backup for Blake or even start, and Coleman could leave, because Coleman is getting older now, his ratings are going down, and it bumps the whole squad ratings up. That's the thing, we bit by bit, we build it up. Um, hopefully by the end of, well, season five, we might even have some 74 rated players in our team, but... Like I said, we need to get into them rankings up higher. So we're going to place a bid in for Piani, uh, a goalkeeper who's 197 in height. But again, only cost us 1.4 million. I've also found this guy, Per Ringer, the Pinchel Schwinger. Um, 
I only know basic swear words in Germany, so I do apologise. We had German exchange students at school, so the the pinch of swinger is the um, is the dick swinger. <laughs> I will say no more. That's gonna be that guy's nickname, Per Ringer, <laughs> the pinch of swinger. And we found this guy, two guy, uh, Tusongi. So he's a left back. I'm thinking Arda Guerrero now again is on the wrong side of 28 which is really weird to say, to be fair, because he's still young, but he's declining already. I think him and Dallas at left-back. So improve the left-back, improve the goalkeeping, and then maybe get another striker in and see how we get on. So De Peringa is here. The German is going to be up front. Another geezer that's 195, I do believe. So we may have brought Peter Crouch from Timu, but we'll see how it goes. You never know. We could even switch to maybe a 4-4-2 with him and a super boobacar up front. Just absolute batting round. Maybe go a bit of a Sean Dice direct style or something. But at the moment, Peringa joins. I think Mulan's going to move on. Sane's had an okay season. My name is Peringa. It's a real honour to pleasure wear this chance to wear the shirt. Uh, okay, what are you going to say, brother? I hope to see you on match day and do good about my debut match. Who says you're playing, brother? you got to train first, man. Obviously, it will take a while for the players to gel. So we move on. Uh, we've got Nottingham Forest next. Uh, we've got two more signings to make. Obviously, if someone does get sold or bought, we can replace them, but there is rules against that. So like I said, the ones that I've transfer listed are older. I'm not that fussed about replacing them, so we're going to probably thin down the squad a little bit now for the second half of the season. One ball up. They the header. So I've not uh, included Peringa today. He's Dudu. I have transfer listed Dudu, as much as a legend. Ganso. Wankatsuki. That's nice. Tokyo Felipe's in. Oh. Good save on the goalkeeper. Cuts another door. So it will get to a point, I think, where like Toko, Felipe, and Denilson might end up being our oldest players soon, like 25. We can thin down the squad again. This is nice, Toko. Take a touch. Because oh, actually battled the ball, but wins it back. Nice little spin move from Toko. Ball forward to Yaya. To Watsuki. Again, he's got no power, Watsuki. Come on, brother. You can do better than that. Here come Forrest now. 10 minutes to go till half time. Here's Chris Wood. Playing as like a. Deep line playmaker. What are you doing, Woods? Get your ass down, Chris Wood. <laughs> Where are you going, brother? This is nice. Ganso. Out wide. Danielson. Little flick inside. Watsuki. Can you keep hold of it? Come on, he got kicked about 14 times, I ref. We got the free kick. All right, Ganso's going to take this one because no Albertina today. Left Pegasus. What can the Brazilian do? Ganso! Off the post and in! The keeper got a hand to it, but he couldn't stop Ganso's strike. And Harrogate Town lead one nil at Forest, and it is Ganso the Brazilian who is coming to his own at the moment. What a finish! Over the wall, off the post, and in. Let's go, Ganso! Touch doo doo. Nicely done. To Ganso, who's been running the show in midfield at the moment, to be fair. And I think uh, D Dubs is right, we've got to build a team maybe around Ganso. See how high we can get this player rated. Here's Dionku. Toko Felipe. And it might be a case of just doing that soon. End of the season. Have a look at who our best rated players are and who plays well and build a formation around them instead of I'm just sticking to this 4 3 3 now for five seasons. And it's done, we're going, it's done really well for us, but there's some games where I think, you know, we could do a lot better. Here's Ganso. Beautiful football, though. Dudu. Touch inside. Watsuki again. Can't get there. It's cleared away. I think he's got the strength of the Japanese brother to play up front. Might have to start playing him in the camp position, maybe, or again. Looking to maybe move him on after a season. I don't think he's built for the Premier League. Here's Dudu. We brought Peringa on. Can he show us something in his first few seconds of his debut? He's still on side. Peringa. Nice ball inside though. Toko Felipe. And all the defenders watching Peringa. And Toko Felipe snuck in. In behind the left back and made it 2-0. Peringa's run. Drew everyone across. And Sobis gets a, an assist on his debut. Looking to find Peringa. Peringa's only 23 now in the middle, the top left. And he makes that run. The defender didn't want to do. And left Toko Felipe wide open. 2-0. This is a good win at Forest, this. Again, can be an awkward team in this Premier League. In his bait, nice little ball. Peringa. Nice movement from the German. Beautiful. Toko Felipe's in. Can Felipe make it three? Oh, straight at the keeper. Here come Forest now, trying to find some kind of consolation. I've got a man over side. It's Toe Wooney. He's in. Can we get through? He's one-on-one -on -one with Blake. Oh, he's missed it. <laughs> it wouldn't matter anyway. We win 2-0 at Forest. Ganso and Toko Felipe with the goals. A clean sheet. A nice opening debut for Sobis and Peringa. We'll take that, brothers. And again, deserved three points. All right. So, um, the Piana and Tsongu 
It deals have come through, so we're gonna get Piano next. We haven't got enough wage budget to get uh, to Songu just as yet, so we'll wait until uh, somebody leaves. Uh, I need to adjust the budget. I've been putting it all into the transfer thing, but I need to put it on the wages, make sure we've got room for wages soon now. We're building up the club that much. But a new goalkeeper's in, 197 Absolute Beast. Uh, Piani, like I say, Coleman's going to get moved on if anyone does want to buy him. <laughs> Might be hard to get rid of, to be fair. But um, I think he's a good goalkeeper, Coleman, but his ratings don't stay the same. Am I wearing damn sketches? What the hell? Oh, my goodness. I'm getting old now, brothers. All right, new goalkeeper in the building. Uh, my name is E. Piani. It's a real honour and pleasure to have a chance to wear this shirt. Hope to see you on match day. I'm going to do my best in my debut match. All right, uh, Moulin Rouge is going to move on. We're going to send him back to Brazil. It's not a great deal. It's probably half his worth, but again, he's not going to get any games. He did well for a season and a half for us. Just a bit part player, five goals in 15 games. Uh, out of a possible 46 games and could have played, but we'll move him on. It means we can get Tosungu in. So again, we've got a third left back now. Uh, and again, it's a younger left back. You can come in, hopefully do a job. Hopefully his ratings are going to continue to uh, go up as well, helping the average age of the squad, helping the average rate of the squad. But Tosungu is in. So that's our three signings. So we've got Piani, the goalkeeper, uh, Paringa, the pinchel swinger <laughs> up front, and then Tosungu, the left back, coming in as well, brother. So things are looking good. Chairman's happy. He's smiling. So he's got some turkey teeth. Um, let's go. So my name is M. Tosungui. Uh, the newest member of Harrogate Town is real honoured to wear, uh, join such a prestigious club. I can't even read today. I'll be listening to my name being chanted from the stands. Nothing rhymes with Sosungi, brother, so we can't make any kind of chant, so hold your breath, man. All right, we move on. We press on with the press on. We've got Norwich again. Hopefully, a more entertaining game this time because the 0 0 at the beginning of the episode was dookie. But this is the FA Cup, so we have to have a winner. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm taking a risk, really. I'm, I've slung Piani straight in for his debut. Uh, and I do believe Peringa is on the bench. Oh no, Peringa is starting and the song is on the bench. So I've rotated the squad quite a bit. Could be dangerous in the FA Cup, but we'll give it a go. Bro. So here's your lineup Peringa, the pinchless finger, is up front. He's got no picture, as always. <laughs> Piani's at centre back. And I know I should get a PC and get mods, but I love Pez on PlayStation. What can I say? We're 13 minutes in and it has been the same as the league game. Absolute Dianus. Well, here's Ganso. Come on, brother, break free, break free. Unless you don't have to lay back if need be. So, yeah, yeah, part of me doesn't know if it's my formation, because I mean, the beginning of the first 12 games of the season, we were battering teams, or whether it's just the players, and I'm going to have frustrating days where we're going to get battered, and days where we're going to batter other teams. I mean, we have got 70 odd rated players, and we are top of the league, so I shouldn't really moan too much about the formation, but some games are just. We can't, like this, we can't break Norwich down. It's just so frustrating. Two games are played in this season and they're absolute nightmares to break down. It's Peringa to Newerton. Trying to get Peringa on the other side of the Germans in. Be strong, Jim. Oh, what a save. How did he get to that? One Abatina. Toko Felipe. Come on, Peringa. Switch on, man. He's an absolute unit up front, though. <laughs> oh, they're feeding them brothers in Germany, but that guy's like six foot eight. That's a ball over the top. That's nice. And he's got the volley on and he's just disconnected with it. Misconnected, disconnected. I don't bloody know. Nice done, Watson. Look for the big man. Oh, he's gone down the line. Padinga's out. Handball referee. Having none of it. Here's Arbatina. Back inside. Danielson. Nice little flick over the top. Padinga! <laughs> the German. Padinga. The pinchel schwinger. Makes it 1-0. Get in, brother. Look at that German haircut. It looks like G.I. Joe from Germany. But what a finish. Peringa. He's only got a fe uh, which I think a offensive awareness 67. But he's got finishing and movement, which is okay. He's just not aware that he's in front of the bloody goal. But the one that up. Finally, this deadlock's broken against this stubborn Norwich team. Here's Peringa again. That's a nice little ball around the bat from Peringa. Ganso lays it in. Danielson's in. Oh, what a challenge. What the hell you want it back for? A free kick? It's a free kick on Ganso. Yep, I do believe so. I don't mind that after we uh, missed the opportunity to score. It's a bit far out for Arbatina, to be honest. The keeper's got a, a bit of a step to his central position. Arbatina up and over the wall. Over the bar, though. Come on, where are you going, Watson? Nicely done. Toko Felipe. This is for a place in the quarterfinals in the FA Cup. It was the furthest we've ever been. And it'll be against Leicester City as well, of all teams. Peringa! Oh. Here's McLean. Nutmeg display it. Oh my goodness, a scramble in the box. Get bloody rid of it. 
Rafael Silva, it's Tagan. So I've nearly got a bloody full team of Brazilians at the moment. That's a ball outside. Newerton, this is nice. Peringa. Ball inside. Rafael Sobis is in. And Sobis is in. The Brazilian Sobis. Oh, he went for the chip instead of the full strike. But him and Peringa linking up. Could be a 4 4 2 next season, you know. With Peringa in there. We might need a defensive midfielder, really. That's a nice little ball inside. Ball it across. There's a touch. Back across again. There's the header down. Clean's going to take this corner kick. Ball's whipped in. Head of the back stick and it's one all. Oh, three minutes to go. You could just see it coming in. Sorensen. Oh, Norwich have been dookie this whole game, but they've found an equaliser in the 87th minute and it looks like we're going to be heading for extra time. Cannot believe the liberties. Come on. Can we muster up something from somewhere? Norwich have gone all out of attack. They put an extra striker forward, or actually defender forward. If you can get past this line of players, you've got a chance of scoring. Don't head it backwards, you absolute numpty. One all. <sighs> Peringa with his debut goal. Sorensen with the equaliser. Extra time. Come on, Kuba. That's nice. Sobis is in again. Can you find a big man? Sobis has gone for the shot alone. Oh, he won't fall for anyone. Peringa. Oh. Opportunity missed there. Long ball up. Norwich again have put an extra defender up forward. It's harder in, in defensive situations, but easier in attacking situations. And McLean's in, and he's cut inside. Oh, what a move from McLean! And McLean has scored for Norwich. And they've absolutely smashed and grabbed it. Norwich lead in extra time. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. I can't believe it. It's hard enough scoring against this stubborn ass team, that being 2 1 down. Here come Norwich again, though. We only played 10 minutes of extra time. Balls across. Short chance. Right, come on, brothers. We've literally got 12 minutes to go. And ball inside again. And Norwich are the ones that are attacking. And Norwich are getting chances. And Piani makes a good save. His goal miss. He's offside. We've had to put an extra defender up front ourselves. But it's leaving us lacking at the back. We just can't get possession. Oh, my goodness. We're all over the shop. Looks like Norwich are going to be knocking us out of the FA Cup. I was hoping for a good run in the FA Cup. But we're out. Peringa scored in his debut, but we took the risk moving the squad around. Look at that, we battered them though. Oh my goodness. Alright, Montana is going to move on as well. He's 20 year old, 64 rated. I could replace him, but again, like I said, I've got strikers for days, so I'm thinning out the squad. And the last game of the episode is going to be Crystal Palace. Uh, we will have obviously more transfer window next episode. We aren't going to be buying any players, mainly just selling, hopefully. Um, but we'll be into what will be probably the last. I want to say that's a nice little spin move. Oh my goodness! Uh, as I was saying earlier, we're probably into the last. Um, what's it? Episode eight. Usually about eleven episodes, twelve per season. But I think with the Champions League this year, it might be thirteen. So as the season goes on, we've only got Premier League to look forward to now. So I reckon maybe like say another five episodes. Spin move, Zerky, and the uh, season might be over. Hopefully, we can get into rankings. It's a nice little ball across. It's been a dire first half so far. Like I say, the aim this season for the manager was Champions League. Obviously, being this close to the title, we might try and go for it. The club want us to finish at least eighth. That's a nice little ball in. Oh. Ball across. It's Ramsey. Balling again. Zerky. Blocked. Saved by Blake. Good save on the keeper. It's looking like we're heading to another 0-0. Oh. I want Champions League mainly because... Uh, It'll get our rankings up. That's a nice ball across. It's Sane. It's deflated. It's in. <laughs> there he is. King Sane. Mr. Clutch moments. Always scores in the last five minutes. Finally bags another one. Nice touch. All the way. Come on. Finish it off. 2-0. Ball across. Oh, Toko Felipe again. Just get shoved out of the ball. But we'll take a horrible 1-0 win. 86th minute. We'll take it. It keeps clocking up the points. Like I say, we've got a long way to go. Probably a third left of the season. But at the moment, we're in the driving seat. We've only got Premier League to look forward to as well. We need to try and press on with the press on. Look at that. We didn't really have two shots on target. We won 2-0. How's that work out? So we're nine points clear of Brentford. But my fear is Man City, Tottenham, Man United. I think Villa and Brentford may drop off as the season goes on. Uh, Norwich, our bottom. My goodness. Um, so we had a bid for Fletcher. It was crap. But we're going to sell Mustur. He's gone as well now. 
Uh, next episode is going to be Bournemouth, Liverpool, Chelsea and Tottenham Hotspur. So some tough games in the next episode. And that will leave us on match day 25, which will then leave us with, what, essentially 13, 14 games left. Um, so as you can see, I might swap to a 4-4-2. I'm not too sure. Or I've got a 3-4-3 or 3-4-3 kind of I'm looking at as well, possibly. Um, I might should just stay with this formation to the end of the season, maybe. I don't know. I'll have a little play around, a little think. Um, but we've got strikers for days, but maybe a 4-4-2 might work with two up front, get us some more goals. But I'll think about it, brothers, anyway. And in the meantime, you smash the rise at the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Wagwan, welcome to the channel. Thank you, everybody, for helping me get to 4K subscribers. Peace and love, brothers and sisters. And I'll see you on the flip side. Peace. Say